What's up, Brian? Welcome. What's up, Willis? Welcome. Perhaps you. Welcome to the stream, guys. Damn, son, where'd you find this? What's today? Today is still technically Wednesday over here for 10 minutes. No, Thursday. It's Thursday for 10 minutes. What's up, Brandon? Welcome. Thought it was DS1. Yeah, DS1's a game I played way too many times. So DS2, even though I played it too many times, I'm still gonna play it. There's plenty of those runs on uh, on YouTube. I think this one will really impress you, though, Sandy. Probably. We look for it real quick. <clears throat> Yeah, this one might impress you, Sandy, so I'm gonna post this one. You can watch this one yourself. one I got a few years ago still pretty valid in my opinion it's kind of moldy now but it's still there welcome to the stream though what's up Ryan Brandon Willis Jordan welcome Alright guys, this is Dark Souls 2, this will be 311 out of a thousand guys, we're getting further and further into 300 now, which means we only got about 680 left to do, only 680 no death runs to do and we've accomplished a thousand no death runs in the Soulsborne series guys, it's not very much, it's easy climbing guys. Then I have to move on to a million no death runs because I need something fucking harder to do. Because it's fucking me. The only way to get there is to be a complete psychopath, and that's what I am, so. Let's fucking do this. The devil don't sleep. <laughs> the Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. That movie's so full of shit, man, but I really do like that movie. 
it's total fucking fabrication of reality, but it's still pretty entertaining. So only seven. So only 630 left, guys. I mean, 680 left. We're gonna be 689 soon. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? So we're getting 600, six, 689 more runs to do. That's it. And then we gotta move on to doing a million runs. So everybody can shut their fucking mouth. What's up, Kyle? Welcome. Last run we finished was actually Fist's only no death in this game. I think we finished that yesterday. No Vanquisher Seal. NG. No, no, uh, Flynn's Ring. It's pretty brutal. It, that, I actually uploaded the first part of that earlier today. It was a pretty brutal run. We finished it, though. Maybe we'll go daggers. Why not? I've no choice now. We want something easy, so we'll use daggers only. Why not? The one we did before that was. Uh, what do you call it? Broken Strength Sword No Death. Which was a pretty damn easy run, actually. You know what? I should have grabbed some poison. Yeah, we should grab some poison. Probably be a good idea to grab some poison. What did I watch tonight? I watched The Patriot with Mel Gibson. That movie's fucking three hours long almost, just about. Heath Ledger's in it. I've been watching a lot of Heath Ledger movies lately. That kid was so young when he died, man. It's pretty depressing to think about. But the kid had so much talent, dude, and so much potential. It's crazy, right? To think about. He's good looking, charming, great actor. I mean, he had everything, man, going for him. It's kind of sad that he, he died so early in his life. He had so much to offer, you know? It's crazy. Yeah, it was pretty crazy, man, to see that shit and just, like, pay attention to that, you know? And then what was it I watched the other night, which was A Knight's Tale? It's actually a really good film. I've, I've read Chaucer's, you know, Canterbury Tales, but... Canterbury Tales fucking boring, bro. Like it is, it is definitely medieval literature. But Knight's Tale, great film, fun film, entertaining, exciting. There's a love story. There's action. Great movie. Great film. Definitely one of the better movies. I mean, think about it this way, though. Yeah, you know, he ended up doing himself in, but everybody's going to remember him for the rest of eternity in Hollywood, pretty much. Granted, yeah, it's fucked up that he passed away the way he did and all that, but 
The dude made the sacrifice and he lived he lived the life, you know. He paid the price. And he did it twice. So I mean, yeah. It's fucked up. But I mean if he wouldn't have done that, he probably wouldn't have done his best roles, you know, so that's just how it be sometimes. There's always a price to pay, baby. 1,050%. Damn, son, where'd you find this? I don't even know if the Joker's his best role, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think the guy was just a great actor. Like, he had a lot of propensity. Any role he would have done would have been great. I think people just mostly remember him for the iconic Joker role, specifically. But his potential outweighed any role he was playing. He could have played any role into the ground, dude. Like, the dude was a fucking champ, you know what I mean? I mean, why didn't, why didn't the torch go out? That didn't make any fucking sense. The torch ain't going out, yo. Look at this. Why? Okay, yeah, just don't hit him. That's fine. What's up, Shields? Welcome. Lord of Dogtown? Yeah. That's what I mean. It's mostly the iconic thing, you know? People get hung up on what a character is supposed to be according to them and whatnot. The popular, popularity of the Joker is obvious, you know what I mean, either way. But I think he could have played any fucking role into the ground. It doesn't matter if it was his favorite or not. The dude had the propensity to get down, you know what I mean? When somebody's a madman on that level, then fuck, there ain't no stopping him, you know what I mean? That's how it works, dude. It doesn't matter if the dude's an athlete, it doesn't matter if the dude's an entertainer, it doesn't matter if he's a singer, you know what I mean? If a dude is a madman, on that level, nothing will fucking stop him.
Yeah, the ladder, the ladder is pretty funny because he wiggles his butt as he's going up. I also, th I think that's funny too when he wiggles his ass on the way up. It's one of the best animations in any Souls game. And then, like, the posture, dude. Like, every character... Every character... In this game has, like, immaculate posture, dude. Same thing. Sometimes bad men become monsters. Sometimes becoming a monster is the only way to survive, boy. You know? You get thrown in a pit of wolves, sometimes you gotta become a wolf, man. That's how life is. You hate the Diablo series? Nah, why would I? Do you hate it, Aaron? Or what? I think Aaron hates Diablo for some reason. Sorry, Aaron. So by not streaming a game, you think I hate it? I guess I also hate uh, Aladdin on Sega and NBA Jam. Or well, let's see, I also I guess I hate Mega Man. Cause I don't stream those games either. Well, I guess I hate Call of Duty too, cause I never stream that shit either. I think you were trolling on live two years ago then someone asked if you like Dynasty Wars and you said Dynasty Wars otherwise I'd stream it. Uh, if you remember a conversation from two years ago you're better than me man. Sometimes people just talk out of their ass you know. Plus, people change, you know? To think that somebody's always going to be the same and have the same motivations and do the same things for the same reasons, I mean, people change either way. They made a little, my little pony pony bod for uh, for any Souls game. I wish they would. I know they have pony mods for uh, Skyrim. <laughs> I know there's pony sex mods for Skyrim too. I don't even know what that's about, but that does exist. Ever plan on streaming it? Well, I'm not a Diablo streamer, so probably not. I mean, that's like if I decided to stream Call of Duty one day. Do you really think that makes any sense? Probably not. You should go you should go to Stone Mountain and ask him, do you ever plan on playing Dark Souls 2? 
see what he tells you. I mean, I'm playing it, Ricardo, so I don't know. You can make your own decisions based on what I'm doing right now. How dare you think Tetris is a terrible game, Ricardo? It's a classic, bro. How dare you hate Tetris? Ricardo doesn't like Tetris. He says he hates classic gaming. I feel bad for Ricardo, bro. DS2 is not terrible. Tetris is. I'm sorry to hear that, Ricardo. Maybe one day you'll get good at Tetris, bro. <laughs> I wanna fucking stream Tetris, dude. I actually really like Tetris, bro. Tetris is fun. It's a fun ass game, bro. You can actually no death run Tetris if you get a high enough score, which is hard to believe, but it's a thing. Surprisingly. I'm not that good at Tetris, dude. Let me go watch a Tetris stream, Ricardo. I'm pretty sure there's at least one 50 year old guy doing that somewhere. You don't need to be here. We don't need you here. I'll be fine without you. It's not like I'm going to lose sleep if you're gone. I'm not going to be like, where's Ricardo? I can't stream without him here. Oh my god, dude. I wonder what Ricardo's doing, man. I shouldn't have streamed DS2. I lost Ricardo. My god. What was I thinking? Then I'll stay up all night for two years wondering what I did wrong to lose Ricardo. Why Ricardo? I swear I won't play DS2 again. I'm sorry. This one random dude I've never met before matters than anybody else I've ever met. My god. What did they do to you? The CIA? I don't know, man. I was asleep. I don't remember. Ricardo Milos? Oh, bro. I love Ricardo Milos. <laughs> the new Assassin's Creed Bloodlines? What is Bloodlines? I never even heard of that game. Is that a game? I saw they have like Mirage or some shit coming out. I wonder if Ubisoft's actually gonna finish that game or pretend to finish it like they usually do. You shouldn't be concerned what a what a, when a 
a person is in a situation because of what other people did to them what you should be con what you should be concerned about is what people do to themselves which is far worse Well, Ricardo, Ricardo, is that what you're saying? Ricardo, pendejo. Buy a PS1 for fifteen hundred bucks. You know what's crazy? I was looking at what's it called? Uh, Armored Core Four, Armored Core Three, dude. Two hundred and thirty, two hundred and thirty bucks. Two hundred and thirty bucks, dude, for a copy of it. No shit, I'm not joking. Two hundred and thirty dollars for a PS3 fucking copy of armored core 4 bro and i'm not kidding around and this isn't unopened or anything you know what i mean that's basically how it goes but you try to write a book or date me ricardo which one bro because i'm gonna tell you right now boy you're not my type i need a man in my life Two hundred and thirty bucks, bro. No shit. I was like, damn, bro. I should have held on to my fucking games, dude. <sighs> Are you strong enough to be my man? Probably not. More than likely. Lie to me, I promise, I'll believe. I knew that was going to hit me. I just stood there to see if it would. You sound ignorant, bro. How do you know I'm from America? Don't you think maybe I could probably be from another country? <sighs> do 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 do. Ricardo's being a racist, bro. Hear that shit, dude? Look at. I'm gonna have to ban him for racism. Sorry, Ricardo, for being a racist, dude. Hopefully, you learn how not to be ignorant. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Yeehaw, Buckaroo, we got it. Remakes King Kingsfield? They don't need to. I've heard their masterpieces, John. They don't need to remake them. Why would they ever... Re they shouldn't have to. Well, one less racist on the stream, guys. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Do I have six stones? I think I do.
<laughs> was the glue holding us together? Let it fall apart, bro. I love it when it falls apart. That's the best. Man, I fucking love things falling apart. Let it fall apart, bro. The Joker would like it if it fell apart. The devil don't sleep. Remember that, guys. The devil don't sleep. While you're in your beds dreaming of wonderful things that you want to do, the devil's out here accomplishing those terrible things you want to do. And whose fault is that? Yours, because you're sleeping when you should be doing shit. You should get the fuck up and do something, man. Code Vein is fun, man. That's a fun game, yeah. I do remember Code Vein. The only, the only problem is the Labyrinth, dude. That Labyrinth shit is annoying as fuck. Well, enjoy, man. Enjoy, Talon. Enjoy the game. It's quite good, sir. What, what was I buying? I don't even remember what the Dang fuck I was buying. Maybe I was talking to this lady. I think I might have been talking to this lady. Oh, yeah. I was going to buy this shit over here. Yeah, I've heard Kingsfield's a masterpiece. I've never played a single one of them. Probably never will, honestly, but... From what I understand, the game doesn't need a remaster. Satisfied? Not really, but I'll pretend like I am. What's up, Juco? Welcome. I kind of think the red twin blades are more OP, but it's l really late game, dude, honestly. To get that shit. Really late game, so. The one-handed dagger is more OP in my opinion. You get you get a dagger and you one-hand it the whole game. That's that's OP as fuck. Yeah, the twin blades are really good, dude. I fucking love them, dude. They're they're amazing in this game. The ladle, the ladle is shit, man. I don't miss that run. At all. That run was fucking terrible. Still not as bad as fists only, though. You know what? They're kind of comparable, though. People are like, fists only, vanquisher seal, NG+. plus. No, dude. No vanquisher seal. No Lloyd's ring. Just fucking fists, dude. And like, 60 fucking strength and 40 fucking dexterity. That's a fist run right there. Lloyd, fucking, any of that shit, dude, boosted damage, that's not a fist run. You thought about Diablo 4 at all? Yeah, I thought it was a pretty good demo when I played it, Jared. That's what I thought about, about Diablo 4, and I'm pretty sure it's a pretty stand-up game, too. Broken sword, all bosses, plus DLC. Don't, I don't know, I'm drunk. You're doing an all, all bosses, broken sword run? Good luck. Cider. I hope it goes well, dude.
You'd love to see me run it? Yeah, you can watch me play the demo, dude. That was like a few weeks ago. I think that's that VOD is still on uh, on Facebook, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, if you want to see me run Diablo 4, you're more than welcome to go and check out the VOD, bro. Damn, son, where'd you find this? I think that was the only game Jane, Jane actually said this is the most boring game you've played in a long time. Like, quite literally. Like, I thought it was fun, man, you know? I really did think Diablo 4 is probably one of the better Diablos. But Jane is like, this game is boring, man. But then again, she can't really see anything happening on the screen, and it's not like I changed the perspective at all either, because... I mean, I kind of just went full screen, which... I mean, I think it's better to stream it, like, where it's tighter. The action or something. Probably be better to do that. But I was like, yeah, no, we're just doing it this way. Because I was lazy about it. But it's pretty good. I mean, it's it's pretty decent. But I wasn't willing to pay $100 for it unless somebody wants to buy it for me. Uh, I don't have time. I have, I have to finish a thousand no death run cider, and I won't have time to do that, unfortunately. Not any time in the next year and a half, probably. Maybe after that. Yeah, if you buy it for me, I'll play it. But I'm not going to play it unless you buy it for me. That's pretty much how it goes. I'm not going to spend $100 on something I don't really have any, uh... How should I put it? Use for? Aside from maybe a couple of streams, to be honest with you. That's just how it goes. I got to prioritize my costs. Because I got bills to pay, baby. That's how it works. Yeah, I'm gonna play Armor Core 6 because I'm gonna try to go to world for Worlds first, no death running it. Just for fun, really. No other reason than that. Donate for it? I mean, I don't know if anybody else will because they, they just bought me a DS. So, and I haven't finished uh, Zelda because it's too long, but I guess we could try to maybe think of doing it. I don't know. Yep, man, if you got a code for it, just go ahead and shoot me a link, man. I would appreciate it, Jared. And then I'll give it a nice go. But my main priority are these fucking no-death runs I got to get done, too, though. So remember that. It's not going to be every stream is going to be Diablo, so... 
And I've only got three years to finish these runs, so... Fist solely champ, you come in, no roll, no heal, slow walk, all bosses, no armor, perma cursed aggression, four times. You don't even have that mod for this game. Alright, that's a cool idea, but that mod doesn't even exist. It doesn't even exist for Dark Souls 1 either, believe it or not. There's no such thing as four bosses. That'd be cool if there was, but. There's only, like, double bosses or some shit. You would get it made? Do you know a modder? Because I don't. <laughs> then go for it, man. If you know a modder, then go for it. I fucking don't. Yeah, you'll probably be one of the five people that watches me play it, but I do appreciate it, dude. I really do. What's up, Keenan? Oh, dude, the boy's here. Fucking gang gang is happening right now. Dude, yeah. Get the fuck up, bro. I didn't even hit him. They fucking buffed up anyways. Whatever. That 37 damage, though, man. I swear. Okay, so that don't stagger him at all, which is surprising. I thought like the third hit for sure would stagger him. an Xbox account? Nope, don't play an Xbox, but I do have a PC, so if you want to grab it from Steam. Yeah, I got Microsoft. Steam's best though, man, honestly, but I would do all that shit in PM as opposed to right on the internet where every dumbass can see.
Ah. You gotta deliver this do load at 9 a.m. Enjoy delivering a load, sir. Is it in somebody's mouth or is it in their ass? Which one? <laughs> You, uh, what you do is you go on Steam, you purchase as gift. After you purchase as gift, then you, you well, you select who you're going to purchase the gift for, and then I get the notification and I download it. It's pretty easy. Surprisingly. Gotta love delivering them loads. Yeah, no shit. Ah, feels good to be the devil again, dude. Ah. Feels so good to be the devil. Gotta love it. Dude, get the fuck out the way, spider boy. Same name on Steam? Yeah, it should be the same, bro. Like I said, PM me. I can give you my info after the stream. I'm not going to be able to do that right now since I'm running a no-death run. You know, unfortunately. It'll have to wait until after I'm done with the run. But I will get back to you, I promise. Or I'll have Keenan get back to you, one or the other. Could you move out of the doorway? That'd be nice, dude. Like, you guys. Je Jesus, come on, guys. What is this shit? Man, I love the Dark Souls, the Dark Souls games very much. One thing I don't like about the community, though, is how many people that try to show you their testicles. That's kind of annoying, actually. It's like, sometimes you just want to play the game for fun, you know? And finish your ridiculous challenge run that no one will ever finish but you, you know? The people just start trying to whoop out their testicles and show you their testicles for some reason. And it's like, I get it, you have a pair of testicles. It's not any different than anyone else's, and I really don't care. I'm just trying to finish my ridiculous challenge run. And no one else will ever finish but me. It's rough. No, it's just a, bu a bunch of babies, a lot of them. Not everybody, but a good deal of them. They're just a bunch of spoiled babies that never got hugged enough by their father or something secretly want to give them a blowjob but just don't say it out loud or something. It's okay though, I mean, it's normal, I guess, according to Freud, to want to give your daddy a blowjob or something, but not all of them, just some of them.
<laughs> jo Jojo's B Bizarre Adventure. Yeah, I still haven't seen any of that. My daughter loves it, though. My teenage daughter fucking adores it. I mean, if anything, the, the the most important thing to remember is it's just a fucking video game. I think people forget that. It's just a form of entertainment. There's nothing more to it than that, basically. People get, like, lost in the concept and actually think that they're living as their tune because they're a bunch of pathetic losers, basically. It's like, dude, it's just a video game. You can turn it off. Remember, it's just a game. Do you remember that? Can't convince me to watch it. The neckbeard's ruined it for me. I don't even. I, I don't know shit about it. I don't watch anime. It's taboo for me. I have no idea. I mean, it's different when you're using it recreationally to take away your problems, but it's a whole other thing to think you're a badass in real life because you're a badass in Dark Souls. It's like people that believe they know how to fire an automatic rifle because they played Call of Duty. It's the same thing. It's like, just relax, bro. It's just a fucking game. Like, it's just a fucking video game. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You're loving it? I'm glad you're enjoying it, Henry. It's a great game, man. All the games are good. Every single one of them has their strengths, for sure. I love this game very much as well. You love my points of view? What does it have to do with Diablo? I also only date extremely hairy men, so I mean, does that make you want to enjoy Diablo too? Play Diablo while riding an extremely hairy man. Jared, would you like to see that? I could I could put that on for you if you'd like. Satisfied? I said that it's just a video game. Relax, bro. I was told I'm talking smack and I don't have anxiety and depression. You got other shit to do? Yeah, exactly, dude. I mean life is too short. Life can be stressful. And it's like, it's already bad enough, so why are you going to make it worse? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> the, the, the fucking, what's the fucking point? There are people that are like, I'm in pain, so I want others to feel my pain. But what's the point of that? It's a fucking waste of time, dude. It's a giant waste of time. Because all you're doing is wasting your time, quite literally. There's the highest point and peak of excellence in the life, in general, when you look above, into the well, above it, 
like this when you're looking up into the well from above. I mean, from below. It's different from looking down, you know, downwards like this. And that's that's what those guys do. They're debating because they're looking down into the well instead of up into into the light, into the sun, into the glorious sun, the one that Solaire worships. You must look at the sun. It's truly incandescent. Not down the bottom of a well, you sucker. You feeble-minded creep. Mm, we only have one more fucking skull. This is scary. Yeah, life's too short, man. It really is, like, to be pathetically bitter, like, to the point where you try to ruin other people's lives in general, if they're just enjoying a thing, you know what I mean? It's like, what's the point? Like, it's just a waste of fucking space and time, bro. I mean, don't you have, like, pictures of bestiality you need to jerk off to or something? Better things to do, you know, something. Do you want to look at, like, uh... Joe Rogan's feet or nipples and get off to that like why waste your time talking shit to people on the internet the internet's made for porn guys not for being mad at each other remember that We all do, it's, yeah, we all do. It's true. We do have our own problems in life. That's why it's great to play a video game, man. It's a great escape. But then there's also always, always that one guy. You didn't do it this way. You need to play it that way. You're not good enough. And blah, 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 blah. People are, if you, if you lose weight, people are going to say you're too skinny. If you don't go to the gym, people are going to say you're lazy and fat. If, if you do hit the gym, they're going to say you're obsessed with being healthy. Remember this. It's always the truth. If you walk in water on Tuesday, on Wednesday, it'll say it's because you can't swim. So it, the best thing to do is to tune all those fuckers out because they, they're not the ones carrying the burden of your life. It's only you doing it. It's a waste of fucking time, dude. It really is a giant waste of time. Play Diablo 4, but the style bores me. Then, yeah. What's up, Scott? Welcome. It's the truth. You gotta tune people out because the only opinion that truly matters is the ones of those who truly care about you, number one, and your of yourself only is basically it. Other people's opinions are just secondary, especially complete strangers you've never met or talked to before. Bickering about visible shit. It's true, and it's a bunch of spoiled children, too. 
Alright, dude, you remember an era where you couldn't watch television on demand? I do. I remember when you had to use a fucking VHS player. And people are like, this show wasn't as up to par as these other shows. And it's like, dude, you can watch it wherever the fuck you are. Shut up. I used to have to wait till Thursday night at fucking 7 p.m. and do the hokey pokey and twist my nipples for my show to come on. I'm not going to bitch about some shit you're spoiled about. I think it's just mostly because Diablo is kind of old-fashioned now. That's basically it. Like, Diablo 2 was my jam. I played the fuck out of that. Like, from sunup to sunset, morning to night, midnight to morning, Diablo 2. Like, I quite played it a lot, but that was fucking, like, two decades ago, man. You know? And, like, the game was pretty good when I played the, uh, the demo. But it's pretty much the same game, almost. And I think that's what people are talking about. But don't listen to me, I'm playing a game that's literally like a decade and a half old, so... You get my <laughs> advice from my Magic 8-Ball. The one, the, the one you keep in your jock strap, that 8-Ball of lines? Is that what you're talking about? You're talking about an actual Magic 8-Ball. Yeah, Diablo 2 is fucking amazing, dude. Definitely one of the best games ever made, for sure. Diablo 4 seems like it had that propensity. It's just a bit slow, like, compared to what I'm used to playing. It doesn't make it bad, it's just different. Yeah, you play a lot of, like, the forest and shit, Keenan. I haven't even tried it. You keep trying to get me to try it, which I'll probably like it, too, if I play it, but I just haven't really had time. I've been busy with life, man, you know? When I get a chance, I'll try it out. When I get a chance. the kinks. Everybody likes the kinks, boy. I tell you what. Never played none of the Diablo games. I mean, they're not bad, Brady, but if you're not used to the, the classic style, you might get bored pretty fast. They're really good, though. I mean, I definitely think they're some of the best games ever made. You know what I mean? I do wonder what happened with them paying people off after the BlizzCon thing. You know, the Bill Cosby room they had. 
where they were R. Cowling chicks in the back. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Because I didn't really hear much about it later on, which is kind of weird because usually people make a big deal about, you know, the R. A. P. E. thing. Just saying, usually. I know I would make a big deal about it. Just saying. <laughs> Typical work day at Blizzard. Hey, drink this uh this uh this beautiful drink I got for you. Why is it open? You wanna go to Bill BlizzCon, baby? Don't ask questions. It's like everybody forgot about that. I don't know how. It's because Diablo 4 is so smooth. It could be that. I mean, the game is pretty damn smooth. Serotonin they can get, that's fair. Hardcore survival soon. You talking about are you talking about the the forest? Sons of the Forest or whatever? Is that what you're talking about? I don't even know what modes are on that game, Keenan. Is that a is that a mode possibility in that game? That's that selection? Yeah, no, it's just, it's one of those things, man, you know? Serotonin, yeah. It's a big thing for a lot of people. It's very true. It makes the game more fun. What is it like playing with a friend? I've only done solo in Diablo. Is is there a way to do it? Like, do you just like have a password and like the dude just shows up, or do you have to like summon them into the game and do they disappear?
What's up, Thomas? Welcome. Oh, it's like a lobby from Warzone? Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, I've never played co-op in Diablo, like, ever. What's up, Jose? Welcome, dude. How you doing, my friend? I've only ever ran through Diablo 3. Interesting. Couch co-op keeps players at the same screen, which kind of sucks, but either way, both co-ops are easy mode. You get 10 extra XP as well. That's, that's awesome. For being co-op, you get 10 extra XP. That's pretty neat, dude. Watching the flash, how was it, dude? Was it good? The corpse legs. You checking out his legs? Wow. I thought I was a weirdo. <laughs> Damn, son, <laughs> Diablo 4 looks cluttered. You basically can't see shit doing numbers, particle effects. I mean, I didn't have that problem when I played the demo. Maybe it was just because I was being... I don't know. Accepting of the game. I don't, I don't know what to say. What's up, Alan? Welcome. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty early or late depending on how you view this situation. I agree. To Majula Mountain Mama. Yep. Take me home. Good stuff, dude. Thanks for the stars, Alan. I appreciate it, man. Me, you, Jane, Team Diablo run. That sounds good to me. I'm cool with that. Flash was solid. Fire snake thing? I don't even know what you're talking about. It sounds perverse, Scott. I like it. You can stay. I always love me a fire snake.
country roads take me home to the land that I love to my jeweler move is called inferno it's a snake of fire that takes up oh shit Ooh, baby, it's a big snake. That sounds good. It's been a while since I've had a big snake. What's a trouser snake? Stop it! <laughs> it's the tube snake boogie, guys. Remember that. If you're having fun, you're in the wrong place. Remember that. You shouldn't be on this stream. Only serious souls playing on this stream. One-handed dagger, no death run, super serial run. Super fucking serial. Crikey, that's a big snake, me likey. One-handed dagger, no death run is what the run is. So we're only using a dagger in one hand. for the GG. I don't think we got hit by any of the Rottens on any NG just now. I think that was all hitless Rotten fights. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. I think we just took damage to the Damn, fire. Son, that was it.
We don't even need that much stamina, honestly. 20 is perfect, because, like, it doesn't even take stamina to use this fucking thing. I should have got some uh, life gems probably since we're heading this way. Well, I'll do it after the next two boss fights. Ow, dude, right? The fucking asshole. The dude poked me without my consent. Didn't even buy me dinner, baby. Didn't even spit on it. Just straight up shoved it in. Yeehaw, buckaroo. <laughs> Steven, that's disturbing. Yeah, I don't really find it clunky either. There are mechanics, though, that do feel clunky. Like, sometimes he starts shifting and shaking for no reason, like if you're locking onto certain things. So, yeah, there is kind of that, but... The roll mechanics, if you understand, like, if you've played the game enough, it doesn't feel clunky at all. Pretty smooth. Like, if you level ADP to 30, it's definitely really smooth. Dude, right in the fucking jaw. Did you see that? That was disturbing, sir. Can you stop hitting me, please? What is this? Dark Souls? You guys stop coming with what's the endless spawn shit at? All right, we'll see you later Scott. Thanks for tuning in man. I appreciate you very much. I Mean no, nah, this ain't an emulation. This is on PlayStation 5 You can pretty much play this on any system See, PlayStation 5.
Yeah, so Dark Souls 1 was on PlayStation 3. So was uh, Demon Souls. There weren't any Souls games on PS2 or PS1, unfortunately. I think that's mostly reserved for... I don't even know what system uh, Kingsfield came out in. But Miyazaki really didn't have anything to do with Kingsfield, so there's not really Souls games. They're like predecessors to Souls games, kind of. The same with uh, with Armored Core. Armored Core kind of has mechanics that they put into Souls games. But Armored Core been around for a long ass time, honestly. <laughs> was on Bloodborne. Was on PS One. Yeah, it was, dude. Bloodborne Cart was. You're right. You're absolutely correct. The first time, it's beautiful, though. You can't say you can't say it's not beautiful, though, right, Cider? It's definitely a beautiful area. He didn't know whether to put his shield up or not. Especially when you're not doing yeah, you don't know what you're doing, it's true. It's true, especially when you don't know what you're doing. Why did I do that? There's no reason to do that actually. Country roads take me home to the land that I love, to my jeweler. Plug in my controller real quick because it's gonna die if I don't. Because I was like one bar or some shit like that. Let's see. Yeah, we're, we're good now.
more deadlier than RNG, yeah. Especially since you can't pause in this game and it doesn't stop playing when you uh, when your controller dies. It's just like, oh yeah, your controller is dead, and so are you. Guess what? You're both dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way it be though in this game. I think I remember Hawkeye going this way the first time he ran this game and just fell right into that that pit right there. I was like, damn it, Hawkeye. <sighs> On an FPS. Mm, I'm trying to think of whether or not I've actually used one on an FPS. I don't know if I've played an FPS since I got a PS5. Oops. Oh, wait a minute. Does Fallout count? Yeah. Oh, wow. I am not dodging shit right now. Stop! Don't ah! Don't do that move, bro. I hate when you do that move. Yeah, it's actually the prettiest boss in, in the base game. For sure, like one of the prettier bosses in general. I don't think I played anything but Fallout 4 as an FPS game on PS5. I'm pretty sure. Maybe I played like an hour of uh, Doom and that was once. I don't really play FPS games though anymore. I kind of quit. You know what? I mean, technically Chivalry 2 is FPS, so yeah. I played a lot of Chivalry 2. Technically that's an FPS, even though you don't really get to use a gun. Love the look. Yeah, the look is great, dude. Damn, son. Where'd you find this?
Legendary. I think I bought that, but I didn't actually end up playing it all the way through. How is it, like, all the way through? I haven't finished it. I think I played maybe the first half of the first game, and that's pretty much where I stopped. They stole a song from Elden Ring yet. Yeah. They stole this whole the whole segment from Elden Ring. Made a mistake of checking what DS is going. Damn, son, DS is going for. Ass? Yeah, it's not expensive these days. I mean, but you get all like with with Scholar, you get all three DLCs, so you get a total of forty-one bosses and uh, three DLCs in the standard game, which is pretty long in itself. But the where it really shines is specifically DLC, though. Second one. It's pretty good. Aged well. I'm set. Um, dude, that's good, dude. Like, DS, I think I think Mass Effect Two is my favorite. Actually, that's my favorite one. Mass Effect One is, yeah, it's all right. It's not a bad game, it's just kind of old. Where's Invader Forlorn? He's not here, he's afraid of me. Cause he knows I'm the real Forlorn. The devil. He doesn't wanna mess with the devil boy. The devil tortures demons in hell, remember that. It's one-handed dagger only, Sebastian. So it's not just daggers only, it's one-handed dagger. Imagine using a butter knife to beat Dark Souls. That's basically what we're doing right now. It's not even a good dagger.
Okay, boys, let's do this. Uh, what, is, what is your friend doing? They're both gonna do all right. Well, your funeral, dorks. Yeah, smack, smack the fucking pillar, dude. Dumbass. Ow! That's why we cuck these guys. If we don't cuck them, we're fucked, basically. <laughs> Euphemism, maybe. It's possible. Hey, Odellis, what's up, my friend? How's the UK, buddy? How's it going over there in UK land? boy what's up Chris welcome he wants to give me a hug boy I want candy bubblegum and taffy I want candy, bubblegum, and taffy. Like Jessica Tandy. I want candy. Ow! Dick ass. Leave me alone. Dude, what are you fucking doing, boy? What are you fucking doing, boy? Yeah, shit, boy. What I thought.
Hot over here, not uh, not AZ hot, but still a lot of grumpy Brits because of the heat. <laughs> That's fair. Why don't you come down here? I'll buy you some piss water beer. We can enjoy it together. Odellis, I'll buy you some shitty American beer. What do you say, buddy? You get diabetes, yeah. Human do not produce light. I just had more flavor. <laughs> That's fair. You know what I think you might enjoy is Tito's vodka. If you've never had that, it's made in Texas and it's pretty damn strong, bro. It's the only vodka I can actually stomach the flavor of. Tito's vodka we you trash, son. You need to come down, I'll buy a bottle of Tito's. We'll drink it. And then I can ask you if you get tired from faking the accent. And we'll have a good time, bro. <laughs> the rent. Yeah, my son was looking up uh, rent in California because he's from he's from NorCal. He's down, he's down for the summer, and he's like, damn, that's expensive. I was like, yeah, bro, fucking SoCal is expensive, there's shit to live in. Gotta keep you hydrated, yeah. Rocky Mountain piss water. I don't know, how much do you guys pay? I know Bo, I don't know if Bo's here, but Bo lives in SoCal. And Jose lives in SoCal. I don't know how much you pay. I don't know if that's a question you want to answer, but... I've heard it's fucking up there. So easy to maintain, that's fair, dude. <laughs> Really, that hit me. Whatever. Fifteen hundred studio apartments normally like seventeen hundred. Damn it, dude. That's crazy. Damn, son, where'd you find this? 
I'm in LA though? Yeah, that's a pricier area just in general. The, you're talking about the uh, Dragon Rider shield? Yeah, you have to ride a dragon in order to get that. Diego. Gotta jump right on top of his horn and just ride him on down. Sixty vigor, ah, gross. I love it. It's disgusting. The English is horrible. It's fine, man. No worries. I'm being, I'm being sexual when I say that. So if you don't understand, I'm sorry. It's because I'm being a weirdo. Not your fault. Oh, you live in NorCal? Ugh. Vacaville smells like Gacaville. In my opinion, at least. At least you don't live in Stockton. Stockton is shittier, honestly. It, I mean sex. Let's do sex. All right, night boy. Get ready. It's funny all these Souls kids watching the the gameplay from Armored Core 6. And they're like, dude, they don't understand. This is for casuals. It's like, dude, if, if you ever played Armored Core 4, because that fucking sucks. That game is hard. Like, I don't mean kind of hard. I mean, like, way harder than Dark Souls hard. Shit is, like, on a whole other level of difficult. time boy oh yeah
Surviving on gummy snacks and queso dip. Dude, that's funny. Cody lives in the closet, so I mean... But how do you play a PS5 and you stream on Facebook? <laughs> oh. Jose, I love you. If anybody had ever asked this question that wasn't you, believe me, I wouldn't even answer. But since it's you asking, it's called a capture card, man. It's called an Elgato HD60. Demon 6 in the morning, yep. Welcome to the, the Hellscape podcast. It's called a capture card, man. You plug it into the PC and you plug it into the HDMI that goes directly into the television. And it takes the channel feed and puts it directly on OBS, which puts it over the internet straight to your phone, my friend. That's how it works. Quite literally, that's that's all it takes is the Elgato HD. This is Casey Kasem. While Hitler was being burned alive in hell, they skinned him a few times. And he belted out this tune. Felt scammed. The, w the one I started using first was a 720p one. Before Elgato even, like, existed, really. Like, it I think it existed, but... Not the same. PS5, I mean, the only way to stream through PS5 is to go to Twitch. Basically, there's no other. I mean, they have the market cornered there. But Twitch is getting worse. The last few, like, updates they've done to their contracts have been pretty brutal to the content creators. So, I mean, if you're planning on making a deal out of it, then I probably wouldn't start on Twitch. Just saying, it starts somewhere else. Definitely not on Facebook either, because Facebook is fucking going to hell. Backstabu, please. Thank you. Okay, well, I'm gonna officially almost die there. Holy shit. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? Twitch file a lot of yeah, but did you hear about the last part of the contract change? They did like the two different things. Odellis was pretty brutal, man. So they they can't promote like with fucking what's Damn, it called? Son, where'd you find this? They can't promote with their own ads, commercial type ads for like outside sources. So in other words, like if they they're running with G Fuel or something. They basically can't run their own ads anymore to make money off of it with partnerships and shit. And then the other one of it was they were doing originally, I think it was like 70%, 30% or like 80%, 20 on don donos and, and subs. They, they brought that down to like 60% or something. So they're taking like 50% from content creators right now. So, yeah. Fuck Fuck, fuck, fuck. That's all I'm gonna say. Fuck Ulaka, sir. TikTok is probably better, dude. Yeah, because I haven't ran TikTok. Like, I have a TikTok, but I haven't streamed on there ever.
70-30? Oh, okay. They change it back? Yeah, the tourneys, dude. Yeah, that's a big deal. Yeah, it's true. You can hardly get money. But that's the thing about streaming. You're hardly going to get money anywhere. Especially when you first start. You have to, like, work your fucking ass off to make anything out of it. It took me, like, almost a year and a half to actually make money on Facebook. Like, enough to actually pay bills, like... You have to be willing to put that dirt down, son, you know what I mean? Because if not, you're not going to make any cash. Don't hit me. One-handed dagger, too. I'm not even two-handing it. Believe it or not. <sighs> yeah, it's all about building it, though. Like, that's, a, that's what you gotta understand. Like, I kinda got lucky with Facebook. Because Facebook, as soon as I started doing Facebook, I got like a thousand views as soon as I started it. But that's because Facebook gaming was brand fucking new. And like they had no Souls Challenge Runners on it at all. So I kind of found a niche in a way. Really. I got lucky there, you know. I could say it's because of my extraordinary skills, but I'd be lying if that was all it took. You should probably never two-hand anything. In this game, it's better to two-hand. Honestly. It depends on the weapon. Like, in Dark Souls 3, you want to one-hand everything. Unless it's a specific weapon. Because the damage output versus DPS is better if you two if you one-hand it in Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 1 and 2, though, you kind of always want to two-hand stuff. Especially if you're playing with your sword in the middle of the night, in the darkness. Fantasizing about an ex-lover. Not for you, that's fair, yeah. Fantasizing about an ex-lover. You've earned your community. Alright, we'll see you later, Keenan. This is the, end, this is the last boss anyway, so... That'll change when it's popular? More than likely. Yeah, you got a point, honestly. It's probably going to happen that way.
Oops. Wrong button. The Saint the Saint Elden Ring, dude. The fuck is wrong with you? I beat these guys yesterday with my fists and it was it took like 30 minutes. It was brutal. Luckily we have an OP weapon, the dagger. Worth it. Worth it. It's always worth it, especially since it's not a uh Fist only run. <laughs> it's, it's always going to be worth it from this point on. Stop hitting me, dude. Fuck you. Come on. Ow! Stop. That hurts. Totally worth it, though. I don't even care. Not even mad about it. I gotta eat more, more shrooms so I can trip out in the boss fight. We need to get this guy to second phase so he can get rid of his buffs too. Cause they only get three buffs this whole fight. I mean, I might have to like reset because the dagger's gonna break. I don't think I have another repair powder on me. No, we're, maybe we'll just beat the Chandra with a broken dagger, whatever.
Come on, boss. We're out, please. Really? Really? You had to do that? The rarest attack you got? Whatever. Nice jump. Why did you jump? All right. That's funny. Can you move, please? Thank you.
Time to get cursed. There, it's broken. Sweet. Come on, shoot over here, baby. Come here. Yeehaw, Buckaroo. No death run to, to, I mean, 311. I don't even remember how many I got. 311 in the bag, baby. One handed dagger, no death run. Thanks for the GG's, guys. Yeehaw, Buckaroo. Well, that's another no death run in the books, guys. 311 of a thousand. I hope you guys had a good time because I did breaking my dagger on that old bitch. She done now. I better get some sleep before I have to stream tomorrow. I do everything one handed. <laughs> good scene. You who link the fire. You who bear the curse. Once the fire is that was two hours and 21 minutes total. So I'm going to upload that. It should be on there tomorrow. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Thanks for being a part of the greatest souls coming on the internet. I'll see you tomorrow.